everyone it's sunday another day for me but yet later on it's gonna be another dollar it's sunday and i'm useful going to my part-time job yeah life 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 let me just check if I could take the bus here. Looks like I cannot take the bus. It's gonna come in 10 minutes. There's a bus. Southbound. In six minutes. So, yeah. Another day, another dollar. It used to be, this used to bother me a lot. And I used to go to work. And I see that there's no it's like, should I go to work or should I find a reason not to go to work? Surprise, surprise! Came home today and I'm surprised that my kitchen is actually clean. And I was like wondering who would do that? Who would clean my kitchen? You know, I, because it was like a garbage day today, so I was kind of in a hurry. I took all the the old foods and threw them in the garbage, and all, all, I have a lot of fats here today. So when I came home, it's like, it was so clean. It was so clean. I'm really, really surprised. And, uh, and then later on, Paul came down, and he, he greeted me. Happy birthday, mommy. It were, it's the best gift uh, your your youngest son or uh, your your baby because Paul is my youngest would clean my place my kitchen that I, I think this is probably his way of saying happy birthday mommy and yeah he actually really clean so because i i wouldn't expect this from paul he never cleans he never cleaned the house since he's the youngest he's a boy he's a baby boy but um, he did this probably for my birthday. I wasn't expecting that. But uh, anyways, Paul is really a clean person in his room. He's, but his, his, his move is limited to his room. But uh, maybe he thinks this is the only gift I could give to mommy is to clean his kitchen. And I'm really so thankful because I actually remember I cook before I left. So yeah. And it kind of organized it. They put this one here, it used to be there. Yeah, and all my breads, he probably put it in the fridge. So, thanks, Paul. This is really a very good surprise, best surprise. It always surprises me, you know? Doesn't have, you know, gift doesn't have to be material things. It could be some other things too. And, and oh, he put that there. Thank you, thank you, thanks, Paula. So he probably uh, cleaned the thing too. The best gift I received this year is a clean kitchen from Paul. Thank you, Paul. You guys are probably wondering, um, this is a different type of kitchen. This is my kitchen in the basement. This is where I do the actual cooking. Uh, I do cook upstairs uh, when on the first floor when I have guests or that's where I, I barely cook there. This is where I, this is where my dirty kitchen is. But it's no longer a dirty kitchen. It's now a clean kitchen. So yeah, I'm just letting you know, you're probably wondering because the cupboards are brown, the one upstairs are in burgundy. So this is my dirty kitchen. But dirty kitchen, but not dirty anymore. <laughs> Okie dokie. So yeah, since uh, Paul cleaned my kitchen, and I'm gonna cook uh, his favorite. Actually, his favorite is uh, chicken adobo, but this time I'm gonna make chicken apetada. I like to spice it a little bit. So yeah, so that way, this day he hasn't been coming out. He hasn't been teaching, so I think that's why he has the time to to clean my kitchen, my dirty kitchen. Oh no, he doesn't like the bowl that I buy. He doesn't like that. But he likes if I cook chicken.
So I'm not trying to be just to do this, okay? It's just with the heater, it's so hot. So that's why. Yeah, I think the difference between chicken adobo and chicken apitada is the uh, tomato. The adobo doesn't come with tomato. Now I'm ready to cut the. Uh, <coughs> Put this one here. Okay, so now I'm uh, using chicken thighs because chicken thighs is uh, is softer than the chicken breast. I might be putting some chicken breast <coughs> later, and it's important that when we're cooking meat or unless range we're, we're supposed to be a little bit uh, healthier. Take out all the unnecessary fats. Got, that would go into our, to our bloodstream and if cholesterol is already high it's not a good idea to be <clears throat> it's actually late now but I'm, I'm gonna cook this so it has something to there's still a little bit of fat left just try to avoid the fat That's the thing when we eat outside, unless we eat in a fine dining restaurant. I'm gonna put a little bit of. I'm gonna eat. Maybe your knife. Okay. I like to put some art on my, my cooking, like triangle shape. So I'm gonna saute this with onion, garlic, and tomato. So and then, yeah. Now we're gonna cut the carrots. Once again, I like to put uh, art on my cooking. The chicken is our triangle, so I think I'm gonna shape the triangles. Put art in everything that you do. What's wrong with this? Uh, Sorry guys, it's slow. <coughs> and now I've already taken out that one there. The spice, but it would be nice if it's uh, spicy too. But it will be spicy. This is this meal is gonna be a spicy one because I'm gonna put the spice in it. So yeah, I'm out of green a uh, green peas, so the thing that's absent today is green peas. I forgot. <laughs> I have to put this the shape into a triangle shape. It's like what I've always wanted to do. Just to put them in triangle shape. This meal probably would only cost me um, $10 maybe. Okay, so that's done. All the ingredients are done. So now I'm ready to cook my chicken appetite today. And by the way, there's the fats that I took from the chicken. So they call it 50% fat. And now the onions, uh, the garlic. I didn't burn with the garlic. You should also burn the garlic, but. I used the white onion so it's sweeter. And we're just gonna wait until this is caramelized. This thing is, for best results, you have to, to fry the chicken first. But uh, yeah, maybe we will not do that today. Let me see. But it's still young. I haven't been frying that, but I, I see that on YouTube that they fry it. It's probably tasty. Uh, 
on the right onion, let's put on the right onion. But at least we did our best. I did my best to take out the I want to kind of like fry the chicken so you can put it in the center. I'll put some water on it. So let's just cook that for maybe five minutes. Let's simmer it for five minutes. So now that the chicken is already tender, for sure it's been five minutes. I alarm. I put my alarm. Time to put the carrots in there. Then maybe simmer it for another two minutes. They don't have to be really, really, really cooked. Okay, so we'll be right back. Sorry that that got off again. I hate it when it got out. So maybe we're gonna simmer this for another two more minutes. And then it's good to go. There is my supposed to be apretada, but I don't know what's the difference between apretada and colorada. I know honestly, I do not know. Let me chase, let me have a chase. Mm. So good. From Banji's Kitchen, Steve with the Mullahs of Toronto. Thanks for watching. No, not yet. I'm gonna have to have a taste of this. It's good, it's good, and it's good. Okie dokie. Uh, turn off at uh, in one minute. Okay. <laughs>